What up guys, it's Tops9 here for a very special unboxing video. In this video we are going to be unboxing three amiibo that I got recently. Um, and yeah, why don't we get this started. So uh, first off here, we got Ness. This is my main in Smash 4. Um, one of my favorite characters in the Smash Bros. series. Uh, so I'm really happy to get this one. Uh, it is a Japanese version as you can see right there. Um, but you know, it doesn't really matter to me because I always take them out of the box anyway. So, you know, why not get into this and actually start unboxing it? Um, so, I'm not going to use the X-Acto knife or do anything like that. Because uh, I haven't really ever tried doing that with the boxes since most of the Amiibo I got are foreign anyway. So, there's no point to really keep them in the box for display. At one point, I may get a um, box collection of all my Amiibo. Uh, I'm not really sure if I'm going to do that or not. But... Maybe, maybe someday I will, uh, but for now, I'm just going to actually use all of them. Um, and I like kind of displaying them without the box anyway. That way you could like view all around them and stuff, not just be concealed to looking at them from the angles that the box offers. But anyway, let's take this out, so put this to the side. And open this guy up. So here he is, this is the Ness Amiibo. Looks pretty cool in my opinion. Um, he was like all the way around. There, you got a nice view. So, uh, yeah, he's got, um, you know, the, everything just looks so detailed with him to a certain extent. Like, looks detailed enough. Um, definitely not one of the worst quality. Like, he is, in my opinion, one of the better quality amiibo. Because his amiibo really fits his character well. Everything's um, you know, detailed perfectly, um, and nothing looks sloppy with it, it all just looks pretty perfect to, uh, how his character portrait is in Smash, so yeah, there you have it, the Ness Amiibo, um, so now we have two others that we're gonna be unboxing, first off, we got Zero Suit Samus, now, this has not come out in America yet, I got it imported from Europe, um, a friend of mine actually helped me with that, he was the one who actually imported it, and then I bought it off of him, uh, so, yeah, let's actually open this one up, Again, not really going to be super careful with the box because it's a 4-in-1 anyway, and I don't really plan on saving the box since eventually I'll probably get a North American one to save, to keep in the box um, for that one. But anyway, let's just, on, the struggle to take it out of the box right here. Uh, here we go. Let's get this. Okay. Open, and here we go. Let's take out the amiibo, and yeah, so let's put the box to the side for now, we'll open this up, and here it is, the Zero Suit Samus amiibo, uh, looks pretty good in my opinion, again, it looks a lot similar to the character, the only complaint that I have is the yellow hair, like, that just does not look right at all, uh, but other than that, this amiibo sticks pretty true to the character, right? Don't really love how they have the clear things like here, but I see why they need it. Because uh, the, the amiibo would be very fragile and would probably break super easily if they didn't have that. So I don't really mind it too much. I mean, like, some people really hate it, but to me it's not the worst possible thing. But, uh, yeah, here is Zero Suit Samus. Uh, she is my uh, third in Smash Bros. My main being Ness. My uh, secondary being Toon Link, which I have an amiibo of him right here. So yeah, got him a while back. Uh, but yeah, now I have my uh, top three characters in Smash Bros. as their amiibo. So that's pretty cool. Um, so now we have one final amiibo. And this one also has not come out in America yet. Um, he's shipped from Europe to Ganondorf. So yeah, Ganondorf I got um, from Europe too. Uh, because this way, I don't have to wait until September, I think, is when they come out here. I'm going to get... Uh, or at least attempt to get Dark Pit and Palutena in stores or on Amazon. I mean, actually, I have to get Palutena on Amazon because it was just revealed she's a Pal uh, she's an Amazon exclusive, which is kind of weird having an Amiibo as an Amazon exclusive. Doesn't make too much sense. Um, I know I'm gonna be like spamming that F5 key one night uh, next week whenever she comes up. I think it's the 24th. Pretty sure that's what day it is. But anyway. You just open this box. Try not to damage it a lot, but then again, I'm probably not going to keep it anyway. So, 
I guess there's not really too much of a point to opening it carefully. Um, let's just get this open. And uh, yeah, here we go. Let's get all this stuff out of the way again. And uh, yeah, here is the Ganondorf Amiibo. This Amiibo is pretty heavy. If I had to weigh in the Bowser, I'd say Bowser's probably a slight bit heavier uh, than Ganondorf, but Ganondorf is still pretty heavy. Let me fix my Amiibo here that I just knocked over by picking up Bowser. Because I have them all like really close to each other on my desk. At some point, I'm going to get a dedicated shelf for all of them. But yeah, here is um, Ganondorf. I'll move him a little bit closer. It looks really good. Um, you might see a little bit of a glare because of the light's like right above it, but sorry about that. Get as detailed as possible. That's a good position, actually. You can see it a lot better from there. Um, yeah, his cape is like a nice solid plastic. That's pretty cool, too. It's not like flimsy or anything. Um, and it has all the cool designs on it. And everything is just so detailed on this amiibo. Um, I really like it. It's got to be one of my favorites just because of how detailed everything is. And it really does look like the character. Um, I, I'd say that out of all the Amiibo I've unboxed today, this one is definitely the highest quality. It is so true to the character. All the little designs are there. Everything is just perfect with it. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are all the Amiibo I have to unbox today. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I am definitely going to enjoy these Amiibo. I really like collecting Amiibo. I got myself stuck into it, and now... Um, it's just going crazy, I guess, getting an Amiibo all the time, <laughs> checking Amazon for the prices, you know, going from store to store, but you know what, it, it is a fun hobby, it's challenging, and that's one of the reasons why I started doing it, for the challenge, and so far it's been pretty fun, um, and it's nice to have this collection of all these different Smash Bros. characters, um, and I think these three Amiibo, let me see if I can carry them all once. They are just so well made. Um, some of the amiibo that I've gotten in the past haven't really been too well made. Um, I can't really think of an example off the top of my head, like something a little bit less detailed. Um, but you know, some of them have been not that great quality. Like, I mean, it's not like really bad quality. Like, but for paying, what's it, thirteen, fourteen dollars? It's I, don't, I couldn't really say that that quality really represents the price. Um, you're more um, paying for like the content that you get from the amiibo rather than the quality with some of them But with these three the quality really is there. Let me just hold them up again And I put them here but that get in range. Let me see I can balance. All right See Ness isn't really that tall enough uh, Let me see if I can move this thing over to the side um, All right Another thing that just fell because I have so much stuff up here yeah, these are the amiibo. Let me see if I can balance this. Top of, can I balance them like, like that? Can I? No. All right, I tried to use my Wii U gamepad stand to maybe balance them up a little bit more. Um, but instead, okay, I can balance them on this. But, all right, here. There we go. That works. So uh, yeah, those are the amiibo. Um, I think they're definitely, like I said uh, a couple times already now. Uh, they're a really good quality. Um, I would really recommend them if you're looking to get some Amiibo. Um, these ones are really great, and they're good characters too. I love playing as all three of them, even even though I don't really mean Ganondorf. He's kind of fun to play in the game. And uh, yeah, I'd really recommend these as soon as you can get them. Um, importing them might be the better option. Ness, it's just cheaper to import them, but with uh, Zero Suit Samus and Ganondorf, you could get them a few months early. Uh, which is really nice having them now, because I, you know, I've been wanting these ones for a while, and the fact that I get to have them now instead of waiting a couple more months, uh, is a lot better in my opinion than having to, um, you know, just wait until September. I think is when they come out. So, uh, yeah, that's. I guess that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Um, if you do, please leave the video a like. It really helps out. Thank you guys so much for the support. This is Tops, and I'm out.